Hi, I'm Andy Parkin, Managing Director of the multi-award winning Speed Screen. I'm here to talk about external floor screen. Generally, we're talking about screen that's going indoors. Generally, if we're talking about uh, any external work, it tends to be tends to be concrete. Uh, and of course, screen and, and concrete terminology, we might get, you know, that can be a little bit confusing at, uh, at times. So what is external floor screen? So I think you've got to look at, is the uh, screed to be, to be covered? Is it, is it effectively a base for something else to, uh, to go on top? So is it for something that you're going to put some slabs? Is it a bedding for, uh, for some slabs? Is it for some decking? Is it for some other, other reason that you're actually wanting that particular substrate? So I think you've got to look at the reason uh, for needing it. Does it need to be a wearing surface? Uh, some of the screeds that we can provide uh, can be uh, non-structural, but still wearing. So if it's a wearing screed, that means you can traffic it, doesn't need anything on top to prevent uh, you know, damage through, through wear and tear. So I think it's, it's looking at, do you need it as a, as a wearing surface or is something going on top that is going to be that, uh, that wearing surface? One of the, uh, I suppose, differences between internal and external uh, screed is, is, of course, is going to be site conditions. If we're working indoors, you're very much protected uh, from the elements. If you're working outdoors, you, you, you're obviously exposed to it and the issues that you get. Uh, first of all, you, you know, you're looking if it's, if it's cold. So you're looking at the potentials for freezing and damaging the screed. Uh, the screed contains water, so if that water freezes, uh, you're going to have issues. Uh, freezing uh, water tends to expand by uh, approximately 9%, uh, 9%, so you can imagine what that might do to uh, a screed. Uh, you're probably going to end up with some uh, dusty, dusty type surface uh, to it. So I think you've got to, got to factor that in. If it's, if it's hot weather, the other side of, uh, of the coin, if it's hot weather, the moisture that's in the screed, partly to hydrate the cement, to give it the strength, uh, you know, for the reaction, if it's hot, it can just lose that, uh, that moisture. And then you're gonna have unhydrated uh, cement particles within the screed. So it's it just, again, you're gonna end up with a dusty surface. I think we've all kind of seen uh, slabs that are dusty, you know, probably concrete uh, garage bases uh, where they've been poured in the, you know, in hot weather, lost the, lost the moisture out of the, out of the screed there. Uh, wind is a, is another thing that's a, that's a big factor. You know, you may not think it's particularly hot on that day, uh, but it can just pull the moisture out of, uh, out of the screed. You know, if you imagine you're drying your clothes on a, on a windy day, it, it dries them, you know, very, very quickly, even if it's not that, uh, that hot. So I think site conditions need to, need to be controlled. Uh, it probably brings us on to probably rapid strength screen, that if we're going to uh, be experiencing these problems, perhaps we need a, a rapid strength screen that's going to go off quick and not be as affected by these products. So that might be something that you factor into the, uh, the specification of the, of, of the mix that you're looking for. Uh, the quicker it gains strength, the quicker it hydrates, the less likely you're going to have any damage due to, uh, due to these items. I think the other consideration we, we need to make is, is, is it, uh, you know, do you have a structural substrate? If you don't have a structural substrate and you, you need one, then you, you're going to have to look at stru you know, perhaps structural concrete uh, that, you know, that's going to have to have a, a coarse aggregate in there if it needs to be a structural substrate. So uh, that might be a factor that you're, that you're also looking at. So I hope that's been helpful. If you need any more information, please let me know.